Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm your host, Dee Graywell, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel. And this is going to be your weekly energy read for fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius for the week of June 23rd to June 29th. I've already pre-shuffled your cards and pulled some cards. Please keep in mind this is a general read, so it may resonate for some and not others. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right ahead into your reading and show you what I've pulled. You have two of wands and self-sufficiency. Three of wands and triumph. Eight of wands and anxious. Confidence. Five of Pentacles. Boredom. Seven of Pentacles. Authority. Profit and loss. guidance cards. Emotions are running high. Supermoon. Brown bear spirit. Take time out. Peacock spirit. Let it shine. One spirit, time to dive deep. Okay, so I feel that you're um, realizing um, you're in a place where you are self-sufficient. You're in, you're in this, but I feel like you're waiting for something to manifest, something that you've been working towards. All right. Um, but you're realizing your own abilities and the power that you have to create certain things. You're relying more on yourself than relying on others. But here, you, it seems that you're waiting for something to come in. Okay, there's these options and decisions that you're weighing upon also. But you're waiting for something to come in. And what you're waiting on is there's success in it. Okay, there is success in it because you have the triumph card. But I really feel that this is more about the past. These are things that you've done in the past um, where you've become self-sufficient, where you've worked on creating things and now you're starting to see them manifest. But I feel like you're working towards something else. You're working towards creating something else. You have the eight of fire here, all right? The eight of wands. Um, and there's some creative new endeavor that you're working towards, but you're waiting on something or someone Okay, and you're feeling anxious about this new opportunity that you're wanting to work towards. Um, you've been putting in the work, but I feel that the timing is not quite right. Um, because you literally have the three of pence and then you have overconfidence here. Um, and so I feel like perhaps what you're reaching for, you're not quite there yet. As a universe, I feel like it's saying, not yet, you know, um, because also I feel that this, what you've been working towards, hasn't quite exactly unfolded the way you would have wanted to. You have the five of pentacles and you have boredom. There's a part of you that's feeling a little lonely on your path right now. Um, I also feel that there's been some kind of financial stress and financial worries. Um, you've, you've planted some seeds here and those seeds, they're not quite blooming in the way that you had hoped. And there seems to be a little bit of confusion about your your um, your path and where you're moving forward. And, uh, you know, you're being guided to trust your inner authority. Um, there's something that you've worked towards that hasn't quite ha unfolded the way you had hoped because you have the profit and loss card. So I feel like there's some time that you invested into a certain project that really didn't 
bring in the financial reward as you had hoped okay and it's something that you've been waiting on you've been feeling anxious about it didn't just didn't hasn't unfolded the way that you had hoped it would unfold you have emotions running high this week so i feel very much that you are feeling some kind of disappointment and a little stressed and worried about what's what's been happening for you um but you're being guided to take a time out you're being guided to rest get clear in your thoughts, being guided to meditate, go within. You need to make sure that your your goals and your desires and what you're working on creating, that they come from your heart. When you take a time to sit back and reflect and allow yourself to be guided from your heart center, that's when you're really going to shine. It's your, your, your passion comes from your heart, okay? You need to make sure you're creating from the space of your heart chakra you need to be in that space your passions are ignited from the heart center so and when that happens when you go within and take that time out just to reflect and get honest with yourself about what it is that you're trying to create you're going to find that you're going to shine it's time for you to start digging deep into your emotions what is it that you really want what is it that you're trying to create why up to this point, things haven't unfolded the way you had hoped. You need to go back and see that what energy were you putting into those things, okay? This isn't a time for you to dive full force ahead. This is a time for you to pump the brakes, slow down, go into a place of deep reflection, meditate on what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, what it is that you're trying to create. And if something hasn't worked out, why it hasn't worked out, I need you to reflect on that before you move forward, because you need to move forward with clarity, okay? So this is gonna be um, a bit of a, a, I feel like a bit of a challenging week, okay? But there are many blessings that are unfolding. You're just being guided to dig deep, to go within right now. So um, I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead. Uh, and I would appreciate if you could please give me a like and subscribe. It's the only way to really get the boost on the channel and get it out to other people. I really would appreciate your love and support. And um, you can also find me on Facebook at D Graywall Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel, as well as on Instagram at the Angels of Alchemy. And you can visit my website at healingwithheaven.com. There's going to be a few other things that I'm going to be working on that I'll be posting very, very soon. So I hope you have a wonderfully blessed week. Until next week, namaste.